Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to learn more about our pre-law advising program here at the University of Arizona. Um, so you may be thinking, cool, I found it, this is it, pre-law, that is the major that I'm going to do. Surprise, you actually have more work to do. So being a pre-law student actually can feel like a double-edged sword, right? So you've, you've got it, you've got it down, you're like, yes, I'm doing pre-law, law school is my dream, cool, future decided. Yes. And you also have another decision to make. So ultimately being pre-law here at the University of Arizona, as well as pretty much anywhere else in the world, um, is not actually a major. Rather, it's just an indication that you have a desire to attend law school after you graduate. So with that being said, you still have the super fun task um, ahead of you of choosing the major that you would like to do while you are at the U of A. Um, so it is completely up to you how you want to do that. There is no right or wrong answer. Uh, admissions. Um, Admissions teams at law schools really are not looking for one particular major. In fact, they often say, we don't want everyone coming from the same major, right? They want a really varied class who's coming with a different um, background and kind of insight and frames of reference into different issues. Um, so again, there's no one specific major that you need to be looking into. Um, and there's a couple different ways that you can go about that. Um, one of the simpler ones is to just choose something that you love, right? Ultimately, as a student, if you are enjoying the material that you are learning, probably going to be a better student in that because you're willing to put in the time and effort and work that it takes to be successful. Another way to think about choosing a major um, as a pre-law student is to think about maybe an area of practice that you're interested in. So for example, if you know um, that you want to study environmental law, um, you know, that's how you feel like you're going to save the world one day, which we definitely need that. Let's look at the world. Um, Anyway, so if you're interested in environmental law, there are a slew, a host, a ton of different majors that you can choose from. Um, environmental studies, environmental science, maybe it's actually doing religion and learning about the stewardship of the land in front of you. Um, maybe it's doing geography or uh, natural resources, right? So plenty of different ways to go about getting that content information. But again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Really what law schools are looking for is going to be the, um, not the content, that you're bringing with you, right? So their goal as a law school is to teach you law. That is what they will do. That is what your three years of law school will do once you're there. Um, they will make sure that you are ready to practice and really understand the law in all ways, shapes, and form by the time that you leave, but they don't have that expectation that you that you know that coming in. Um, so really, they want to see that you are bringing in this skill set that um, showcases to them that you can be an effective student and down the line um, an effective lawyer. So some of those skills might include reading, writing, and research, um, kind of on the academic side, on the kind of metacognition side. We can think about um, critical thinking and reasoning and logic type skills. Um, we can also think of the stuff out Outside of the classroom, which which you can also gain inside the classroom, um, but things such as teamwork and communication and personal responsibility, you know that that skill set is not limited to a certain major. You can also always supplement your skill set with um, different minors. For example, you can always do a minor to to add something. If you don't feel like the major that you end up choosing um, is really giving you enough, quote unquote, uh, to feel prepared for law school, so that's a perfectly fine option. We do actually have a pre-law minor on campus. It's skills-based in the fact that it covers some of those kind of meta skills that we were thinking about, uh, logic, reading, writing, critical thinking, um, oral ability, right, ability to, to talk in front of others, um, that type of stuff. But there's also some content in there as well. Um, so some classes out of political science, some classes out of history, some classes out of um, philosophy, which covers some ethics type stuff. Um, it's a really cool minor in that it's thematic and that you get to pick and choose from a list of like a hundred classes um, and really decide what are the the six classes that make the most sense for you um, so again the kind of takeaway from from this in terms of, of choosing majors is that there there is no right or wrong way to go about it it's really what is the area that you are going to thrive in um, and how are you going to be able to to use that and talk about that when you are applying for law school 
So if you are interested in learning more about what pre-law advising can do for you, please head over to our website at prelaw.arizona.edu. The easiest way to learn about us other than simply reading the website is to go ahead and make an appointment, which you can do by either calling 520-621-7763 or visiting our virtual scheduling portal and getting an appointment set up. Uh, thank you all. And I look forward to hearing from you as you decide that pre-law advising is the right option for you. Thanks.